Hi, I'm Ami Devereaux. Thank you for joining another short video. When I first started to need reading glasses, I know you've seen me take them off when I start recording. I was momentarily a little bit upset, but then I went out and I bought a couple of pairs of reading glasses so I'd have one in my purse and one in my house. It didn't take long before whatever room I was in, I started to discover that the reading glasses would be in some other room. If I was in the kitchen, they were in the office. If I was in the office, they were in the bedroom and so forth. I went through this for a couple of weeks before I got so frustrated that I asked myself, what would it take for me never to have to look for glasses again? And then the answer seemed perfectly obvious. And I went out and I bought 10 pairs of glasses. So now in my house, my car, my gym bag, anywhere I am, there's a pair of reading glasses and I don't have to go hunting for them. These kinds of problems are ubiquitous. They happen in our lives and they happen in organizations. But our method for problem solving is usually to solve the problem at the moment it occurs, when we experience it. And that leaves lots of repetitive problems that really have their source at a different level than we're solving it. So the glasses could be solved by going and finding what room I left them in, or I could figure out how I could solve the overall problem and never have to look for glasses. We see this even in the public sector. We have schools with wide disparities of performance, really great schools with lots of students who go to university and lots of poor schools where lots of students drop out. We tend to try to solve for each individually poorly performing school and we send money or we add teachers or we do training or we do more testing, but solving it that way is never going to solve the overarching problem of wide disparities between public schools. You have to take a step back notice that it's a problem and then solve for the system problem. In organizations, oftentimes those repetitive problems don't have anybody to own them and solve them. So they tend to get solved at the end point. That's true for us as individuals as well. We experience an annoyance, we tolerate it, we solve it that one time, but then we have it over and over and over. How many times have you not been able to find your own glasses or your keys or have to take out a new power cord every time you end up somewhere different with your phone. In my newsletter next week, I'm going to talk about what it takes to solve problems at the source rather than at the end point so that you can make big systemic changes in your organization or your life and solve problems once and for all. It's the difference between curing the symptom and actually curing the disease. And we all want that, don't we? I'm Ami Devereaux. Thank you so much for joining me. Please join my online community. It's free, www.beyondbetter.online. I hope to see you there.